Hello. Good morning. Ah, yes, happy Friday. It's wonderful. The Friday part. Uh, I'm tired. I assume all of you are too. I'm very ready for uh, the weekend. Ah, uh, Gordon Freeman, it's good to see you. <laughs> Don't say that because I'm actually going to get you killed if you say that. <laughs> Not on purpose, by accident. It's okay. There's only dead people where I currently am anyway. Hi, tired. I'm dead. You're not my dad. My dad is probably around, though. I have space on my shirt. Yeah, it's a space. I'm space. I hope you're all having a lovely day. I hope you are ready for today to go by very quickly, hopefully. Uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And yes, this is this is the version that's on Steam. I haven't done anything to it at all, for better or for worse. So I think there's some things that aren't 100% original, because someone messaged me and was like, you need to do these settings. And I was like, um, it's too late, <laughs> so. <laughs> Popping in before Lurk to do things, which are the worst. Doing things was a mistake. Sorry, Jolf. I hope you get your things done soon. Also, I'm glad you guys can't see my shirt in person because I have this blanket I've been using. And it's just like shedding fucking shit all over me. I'm gonna maybe donate this blanket to Octavia. <laughs> Is she still in here? No. It's kind of comfy. It was on sale at Target and I usually don't buy anything but like these weird things at Target. I was there for for gaming notebooks They're really cheap there um and we saw this and we bought it on a whim and it's just like shedding fucking everywhere so i think i'm gonna give it to octavia yeah hashtag gaming notebooks anyway hello everyone i'm covered in fluff now and it's not cat fluff it's blanket fluff Wah! just gamer things disgusting <laughs> Anyway, so, um, hello. We are on day three of playing Half-Life. Um, I am in <laughs> space? I might not be in space. There's no proof that we're in space other than the fact that they're like alien creatures. Um, we're in, we could be in another dimension considering they kept talking about dimensional rifts. Um, I don't actually know, but we're definitely not on Earth. <laughs> At least not our Earth. <laughs> Um, so that's the thing. Yeah, we're in this place called Zen. Uh, X-E-N. Um, I just fought a horrible, um, monster with a baby sack that it was pooping at me. Uh, that was unfortunate. Um. <laughs> yeah, we're not, we're not at my job anymore. Granted, I'm fairly sure I'm gonna be fired no matter what because my inability to follow rules not only caused this kind of but also it's why we're here because <laughs> i apparently didn't listen to instructions when i was trying to go through the portal but whatever it's uh i i tweeted the clip that astral nova made <laughs> as the tweet this morning hr is all dead good um i mean what hr is super important for every company <laughs> Um, <laughs> hey Nova, <laughs> instructions are for nerds. The guy literally said, Gordon, you must go now. And I jumped through and it flashed and he was like, oh no, not yet. <laughs> that is not fair. Anyway, um, we're in a weird place. Let's turn the music off. Um, load. Oh, my sounds are too loud. Yeah, go, go not, this has to be a play on go nad. Um, let's hope this is the right place. I tried to close the game yesterday and it didn't close and I had to force close it. <laughs> oh right, it's really loud here. <laughs> I forgot. 
I didn't touch any of my sounds. It sounds like extra loud today, though. That's very bizarre. Anyway. Yeah, I got all of those weird noises. So, um... Right, I don't have an inventory or a map. I don't know what I'm doing. Ow! What? Who bit me? Um, oh, right. Stop that. Well, oh, it's ruining my... Ah, shit. Okay. Oh! What? Uh, I think I'm dead. <laughs> okay, what a way to start. Interloper. I suppose I should save here. Um. Oh boy. These might be infinitely spawning. Uh, yeah, there's, um. That might be what I need to go to. Oh shit! All right, fine. We'll try to head that way. If I can control this somehow. Oh no, it didn't. Let me out! <laughs> um, I'm thinking digested, I think. gonna be fine. We're gonna do great here. Can I climb this? No. <gasps> We're gonna do great here, I said. Oh, look. That's rising. Ow. I don't think I can kill those. Oh, it's these things. Hmm. My good gun. Okay. Oh, hello. Uh. Ugh. Oh, nope. Yeah, I don't think. Um. Oh, oh a hole. Hello. Ah! <laughs> um, is this healing? Yes. Other people have gotten this far. That's wild. It's gonna be fine. Everything's gonna be okay. <laughs> We're going to survive whatever the hell this game wants me to do. Oh no, please don't. Alright, let's go in a scary hole. Crystals. Hello? the goo. I don't like the goo. I don't like the goo. As long as there's no swimming in here, I shouldn't be afraid. It's just aliens. Fucking god damn it. Ooh! Uh, oh. I shouldn't have used both of those. A uh, please? <gasps> okay, it worked. I think I need to go over there. But when I die? Uh oh my, I'm very high. Ow, stop that. Let's try. I don't think I'm hit. I'm hitting them. Just delete them. Um, ooh. 
<laughs> okay, I want to get over here, I think. Maybe. Um, possibly. But I'm pretty sure I will die if I don't Ugh. go gradually. There's got to be one of these that gets over there. All right, those things being out of the sky has made this much easier. Um... <sighs> Ow. Okay. Hello. <laughs> I thought that was gonna kill me. Oh, you know, space is... Space is space. Who? It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It's fine. Probably. Maybe. I just need to kill those before... I don't think I have the right range for this from here. I don't think they can hit me from here either. At least not yet. Oh, hello. Just jump over me? Oh, shit. Okay. Where the hell is my next... Oh, shit. I think I just missed it. Stop spawning things. I think I need to get to that one. Oh god. Oh, Jesus. Fuck. Maybe we quick save again. Stop that. How the fuck am I gonna get over there? Um. This might not have been the right one. Maybe I shouldn't have quick saved. But I think I would have died if I went any further. I guess we're going to find out, see where it goes. I don't think... I can't jump on you, can I? Oh! You can. Okay, hold on. They go over there. Uh... Dive down and oh, I think I need to be on that one. Uh oh god, they just explode. Please don't kill me. No <laughs> No, I should have quick save first. It's fine. It's fine. I'll simply try to go to that one. Specifically. <laughs> the one in the middle. The one in ouch. Who? Jerk. I need that one. <sighs> Maybe if I sit there, I can jump on it? Wait, there's something there. Oh, nice. Wait. Oh, it's ammo. Nope, I cannot get on there from here. Okay. Um, hmm. Just try a couple more times. It's fine. <laughs> Probably. Just FYI, my name is not Kara or Carla. Please do not call me that. <laughs> Ugh. Okay, 
have to crouch the whole time. Shit, I think I left stuff in here. Oh, I did! Don't bite me! Uh... Uh-oh. Does it not... There we go, there we go. It's raining so hard I keep thinking that, like, Octavia- Ooh! It was way faster than the last one. Um, that Octavia's trying to get in here, but she's definitely not. I wonder if I could have jumped while it was going up. Let's see. Oh, I'm so dead. <laughs> okay, we definitely cannot do that. level feels like a whole different game, and I like that feeling for an alien zone. It definitely feels like an entirely different game, I agree. It's pretty cool. <gasps> oh, Jesus. I, I certainly don't dislike it. Okay, I need to get onto that guy. I think. Being on there wouldn't... That's where we were, though. I wonder, can I make it from here? Oops, that was the wrong button. Let's just go back. I don't even want to look. Oops. Ugh. Come on, let me live. No! Alright, fine. I made it, though. I just couldn't live through it. Ow. My bones. Okay, I think I want to get on that one. Okay, I'm still alive. Fuck you, game. <laughs> you wish it would rain here. I'm uh, I'm pretty happy about the rain. Oh no, my god. Hup. Okay. Whatever this is. May I touch you? this. I really don't like those claw things. This much health is not the best. Um, I didn't even see it before. Oh. Hello. Oh, these bugs. This though, I only need left. Darn, I was hoping I could use that as like ammo or something, like the uranium ammo. Oh, 
Um, shit. How are you alive? Okay. Did I have my light on? Oh no, I just picked up the stuff. Okay, alright, healing. I'll take it. Oh, I know. It's because I'm walking into these. Duh. Okay, so there's more healing in here. God, a lot of people were sent in here. Whoa! Okay, they're giving me rockets. Oh. Hello. Well, I already took the healing, damn it. Oh, fuck. Um... That's okay, that's okay. Um. Oh, oh my god, Philemma for this? It's a miracle. Um. <gasps> it ain't my job. Please do not backseat me. Don't tell me when to save or what to do. Thank you. Whoop! Wrong way. <laughs> okay, we did get a little more of that. Talon. You don't remember this part of Shawshank Redemption? Haha, ha, very funny. Whoop. Oh, okay. It ain't my save again. Or my fucking... Hello? Can't save. It's, uh, it's eating my jump there, which is weird. I wonder why. Might have something to do with being on the edge. I'm supposed to go this way. I don't think so. Okay, if I do the super jump, it's fine. be hurting it? Oh shit. Well, there goes that. Go away! <gasps> oh my god, it fucking worked. Okay. Alright. Okay. Now what? <laughs> hmm. Probably back to where it came from. Which I think was here? I probably should have healed again. That's okay. If we find out this is wrong. <gasps> Fuck. Okay. Uh. Oh, ew. Wait, that's an actual thing? Oh, it is an actual thing. Okay. Ugh, whatever. Do I really have to... Alright. My little floaty jump! <laughs> okay.
They give me a decent amount of control. It's just slippery on this little edge. I gotta get back up. Why, God? <laughs> What's happening to me? <laughs> Oops. Ow. Oh. I need those. They're my favorite bullets. Okay, let's try this again. It's like sticky, slippery. Like. Fucked up spider webs. Oh, 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 oh. Um. Touched me and it hurt me. Uh oh, I don't think I'm supposed to be down here. Oh, maybe I am. Oh my god. Uh After a while they like get tired, I think. <gasps> yes. Ow! <laughs> I think it's a spinal fracture. He stabbed me in the spine. That's mean. I'm saving. Bad sounds over here. Not bad, but this is another goddamn teleporter. But it's the alien kind, so what do I have. No, thank you. It's so dark. Can we be cool? Oh, you're not attacking me? Hi. Whoa. Okay. We're cool? Oh my god! Okay. Um. ladder? No. I wish those were ladders. They look like them to me. Okay, there are gross sounds happening, but otherwise this is really cool. I don't know why they don't hate me, but I'm fine with it. Highly intelligent. Whoa, what do you got over here? Can I talk to you? Can I go in here? Will you get mad? It's healing? 
It's a back to tank. Okay, thank you. Oh, that goes up more. Oh, no, it doesn't. God, this is fucking weird. Uh, this is not <laughs> what I was expecting. die in here. Trespass. Man, other people got this far. There's healing everywhere. Now that, I mean, oh, I'm invading their world. Now. The other way around. They have teleportation powers, though. And I guess technically we were coming into their world too. It feels pretty fucking shitty. Terrible shot. God, I love this gun. It's gonna be out so soon. Stop coming to my world and eating my friends with your children. That'd be cool for me. If you Ooh. Peaceful. I went into a different zone and they all started to attack me. Unfortunately. There was like a floor of peaceful ones and then they all tried to kill me. Oh. How did I take that much damage? Absolutely not. Hold on. I can't go into this with... We're not doing the game like this anymore. I'm not running around with one health.
Damn it. I do feel incredibly bad doing this. But I don't know how to get them to stop coming to our world and us to stop going to their world. I cannot move this. Um... There's got to be a different way to move this. Oh! Oh, there's boys in here! Oh. These pods contain people. That's... And it's a loop. That's very unfortunate. Um... Okay, okay, we've got to plan this better. It's fine, it's gonna be okay. So I need to blow up this one. Um, Not bad. They're cheating. <laughs> These balls aren't supposed to be here. And I'm pretty sure they're not supposed to have weird little red outlines. open those. It's in the way of my healing. Um, what? I guess I don't need it, so I'm gonna leave it alone. This is so fucking weird. <laughs> They're just trying to find it if love is truly blind to get out of here. We watched, uh, we watched episode two last night. It's a terrible show and I find it very hard to pay attention. Oh God. I wish this were a borderland. Cause after one, there was no fall damage. This one. It's the same. Hello. I'm your friend! You jerks! I wanted to be friends. At least. I was gonna come in peace and all that. Why are there so fucking many of you? Buddy. Seems unfortunate. Oh, I missed. Oh, thank God. I did. I put him out of his misery. He was probably very, 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 very sick. <laughs> Just from like spinning around. I would be. 
Man, imagine an alien species where they don't get nauseous at all. I would want to be one. I, 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 I hear you. Just like, be cool, okay? Oh god. Ugh. There's another one. Oh. don't have to kill them all, but... It appears to be saving me health, which is... And I can explore a little more. Sorry, came from. Ugh. I don't know where I'm going. Look at these terrible working conditions. These guys need to unionize. They do. Too far. Okay. Just that way. I can't believe this. So why didn't that heal me? Oh my god, hold on. Bullshit. I was at 19 and then I stepped on it and I was still at 19. That is unacceptable. Thank you. Jesus Christ. I was gonna say, for the squeedly spooch, that used to be my favorite episode of Invader Zone. Actual stuff. Someone's shooting me. Please, I just got this. That thing ruined it. Yeah, there's an episode of Invader Zone, and I'm sure you've all seen it. I hope. Where he, like, goes into the walls and steals organs. Because they're doing, like, a checkup. And so he's like, oh, I don't have any human organs. I need to get more. And so he steals them from all the kids. And the nurse is like, I've never seen such a healthy little boy. So many organs. Yeah, Dark Harvest. It's a really good episode. God, I love that fucking show. I miss it a lot. <laughs> that episode gave you nightmares? That was probably its intention. Wait a minute. D did I go? Okay. Uh, I think we need to keep going up. Is this where the Healy thing? No. I don't know where I am. No, don't leave! Erg. Okay, so we came up from there. The Healy thing, I think, is under us.
You had to go home from work today, you caught pigeon head. Ah, shit. No, my jump! Just don't. Don't do it. Just don't worry about it. It's fine. Everything's okay. Except me. I'm not okay, but that's also okay. Where? What? <laughs> I lost it. Oh. This spins too much. Also, it's the color of fake golf grass. Oh. What? Oh. That's so far away. Oh my god, there's so many of them. Our guy's gotta go first. Thank you for the raid. Welcome, welcome. I hope you had a lovely stream. Were you playing anything fun? Don't mind me, I'm just killing aliens that may or may not know that I'm invading them. Though, am I? I don't know. It's complicated. Hi, I'm playing Half-Life for the first time and I'm for some reason ruining these things lives. Okay, there we go. I don't need to heal. Save. <sighs> um, maybe we try th I don't know if this is worth using. Is there anything over here? No. Let's just use the shitty gun for a bit. Ugh. Halloween episode is pretty good. Your second favorite is when you got a pimple that grew really big and could hypnotize people? Oh yeah, Pastulio. Alright, fine. Uh, I'm gonna make a save here before I jump into this fucking thing. Maybe switch to this? Are you a teleporter? Last I am last. Last I am the last? I'm the last? Uh, <laughs> Non-stop saving. Oh, I can't go back. Good. Just like everything else. This looks like... Oh, this looks like the end of Risk of Rain. Well, not really the end. This looks like a thing in Risk of Rain that you can do. It's not a story spoiler. There's no story in Risk of Rain. doesn't look like a nice door to kill myself on. Hello? Uh, I don't. <laughs> I don't want to touch this one. It's scary looking. Um, Do you hear people? Oh, shit! I was trying to listen. Ni- not ni Nylon? <gasps> Yuck! Uh, hello. Oh. Oh, are we fighting? Okay. I thought we could talk. Are we? Okay. What's this? What the fuck? Um. Thank you. The gravity is weird in here. I'm all floating. 
Hey! Ah, shit. If I hit this, do I... No. I'm out of these. Uh... Ten years. Okay. Oop. Oh. Oh. Um, that's normal. Don't worry about it. God, they sure do scream. Uh. Fuck. <laughs> My gravity is all weird. Should save. Come on, man. My damn energy, you jerk. It's so loud. Tell if I'm hitting you. I'm definitely hitting it. What's happening anymore? Guess I'll just keep saving. <laughs> Video games are happening. Hey, leave me alone. Stop bringing me to weird places. Oh, wait, can I hook these at you? Shit! fine. I saved here. Maybe I should- oh, I have energy. Let's try this thing. Oh, I missed! Don't- don't look. <laughs> don't look at what I did. Hi, Pony! I did cut my hair. I chopped it all off. It was driving me crazy. And also, people did a lot of things to
seem good. <laughs> okay, that just killed me. May I go... The normal distance? Oh no, I think... I think this is death too. No, you can land in this poop and it doesn't kill you. Okay. Can I go over there? Nope, this is way too high. <laughs> what the fuck am I doing? He's getting energy from these stupid things. I think I need to get rid of them. It's very current inspired. I love it. Thank you, Pommy. Glad you like it. Uh oh. Yeah, this is definitely what I'm supposed to do. Hold on, I gotta blow these up. Yeah, fuck. <gasps> he teleported me! What a piece of shit! What the fuck? No, no, no. Too high. Oh, I have to land in the water. Oh, no! The teleporter! I can't move enough! <laughs> Why, God? Alright, let's try it again. Where is it? There it is. Ugh. Oh, you horrible... What is happening to me? Yes! I... Fuck, fuck you. Oh, uh-oh. Well, that doesn't... Boom! No, thank you. No, the jump! My life is fucking over. We're dead. I hate you! Okay, hold on. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be fine. I'm dying. JK. It's not fine. Alright. Slurp, slurp, slurp. Get off the platform. That works. Wait, I shouldn't be hitting it all until I get rid of these crystals, I think. Huh. I wonder how close I need to be. Yeah, this might actually be the poop zone. Working. Disappointing. Oh, you know, maybe I need these. Don't. I don't want to go to the shark. You bastard. A little help. Alright, is there any healing in here that isn't in the water with the fucking shark? Please! Oh. Okay. This is fine. I can live with this. Ooh! Austin, thank you for gifting us up, Jeff Honey. Thank you. Got shot out of the air like a clay pigeon. Yeah, that's me. You should hook up your heart rate monitor. No. That's a Halloween special only. I was thinking of making it like a 
<gasps> oh my god, I got bullets for this. Um, I was thinking about making it a channel point reward, but it it's a physical thing I have to like, strap on and refresh and use an app on my phone, so it's it's better for one time of year, I think. Can I redo all my guns? <sighs> Alright, now we're in business. Save. Now I just need to get up there. Which means jumping into a little pool and not being eaten by a shark. Please don't eat me. Okay. Um, how am I gonna... I guess I could try to shoot it with this. That did not seem high enough. Maybe it's this one. Please. Please, please. Okay. There's some Ooh! Oh, I stepped on a thing. This gun works great! Hey, I hate you, bitch. Please let me land on something that's... Okay. What do you heal with now, motherfucker? Nothing, I hope. Oh, you're spawning, guys. No! Ugh! Why am I back here? Please don't let it bite me. Can I get out of here, please? Let me out! dead? Nope. Waste of resources. I fell for the trick. Okay. Whoa, look at his head! Okay, hold on. Okay, I'm out. No! Wait, maybe I need to go in its head. Why are you here? I think I need to jump into his head. This is not the right one. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> Shit! Fuck. Okay, it's fine. I know what to do. Maybe. I should have saved at some point during that, but I was too scared. It's it's gonna be okay. <laughs> okay. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna shoot the crystals, and then we're gonna, you son of a bitch, went to the wrong one again, and then we're gonna try to jump into its head. I think that's a teleporter out. Well, this isn't the right one. I knew that one was right. It's so finicky. face. That is not what I wanted. This face is not open. I'm dying. <laughs> this did not work. Um, maybe this? God damn it. Okay. Please don't hurt me. Alright, it's this one. Alright, fuck you. I'm not going and doing that again. I just saved at the worst. Oops, hold on. <laughs> I just quick saved in a really terrible spot. I need to overwrite that.
Oh, you little. Bastard. I think I have to go to the next tunnel. Because this head opened up when I came back. They're gone. It's open. No. Wait. Open your head, bitch. I'm gonna land on you. Let me in. <gasps> Guys, I don't think that was right. But that's just me. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Now it's... Let me in your face! You little bitch! Damn it. Go away. I hate getting out of this water. It doesn't work. Jerk. What? Why am I? What? I don't want to kill you. I'm not doing it. Give me the guy. Are you? Why am I perpetually looped? Oh god, please don't be broken. It's fine. Why do I have this equipped? sure I need to go into his head teleporter. Okay. Oh, 
wrong gun. No! Yes! Sir, this is annoying. Kill this guy. I don't know if I can with a rocket launcher though. Which I just used on the boss. Why is it fine? What? Um not um, expected. different thing now. I assume this is different I guess. Maybe I just need to hurt him. He doesn't seem to be throwing at the green stuff anymore either. But I think I would die if I tried to go at him now. These weird things. Aren't they gonna hurt me? Ugh, I don't understand what these are. gonna teleport away quick save it won't let me oh god i think it's happening oh i'm not supposed to be in here help help i didn't need to go into it i just needed to touch it Suit, I took the liberty of relieving you of your weapons. Most of them were government property. As for the suit, I think you've earned it. Well, the border world, Zen, is in our control for the time being. What? Thanks to you. Quite a nasty piece of work you managed over there. I am impressed. What? That's why I'm here, Mr. Freeman. I have recommended your services to my employers. And they have authorized me to offer you a job. They agree with me that you have limitless potential. What? You've proved yourself a decisive man, so I don't expect you'll have any trouble deciding what to do. If you're interested, just step into the portal, and I will take that as a yes. Otherwise, well... 
I can offer you a battle you have no chance of winning. Rather an anti-climax after what you've just survived. Time to choose. I can't hit you because I don't have any- It's time to choose. No. I'm not- Fuck you! I don't even know who you are! How do I go into space? Let me out. No! Well, it looks like we won't be working together. No regrets, Mr. Freeman. Subject Freeman status observation terminated post postmortem subject declined offer of employment what <laughs> what i killed myself well Fuck the police. I do what I want. I'll die on my own terms. Yeah, sure. Why not? Why is my suit still here? I'm just like touching things because I'm like, why is my, why are my stats still there? It's just like music. What? I don't know if I like broke it or not. <laughs> eh? Now you have to buy for eternity. <laughs> Go back and do the other thing. What? It literally just puts you into like <laughs> music mode. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, we're we're in heaven. <laughs> oh, can I turn my flashlight on? Video game? You're not even gonna give me like a game over screen? Um. Okay. I oh my god, it's called Endgame. All right, let's uh let's do the fucking narc option. Sure. It Wisely done, Mr. Freeman. I will see you up ahead. Subject Freeman status hired, awaiting assignment. It's the same song. <laughs> I cannot wait for this to be like muted into oblivion. Gee, so gee, easy, congrats, gamer. <laughs> Thank you, Kachaku. I guess I've been trolled. That's the same ending. <laughs> Queen of Space. Thank you, Broken Quest. I mean, technically, the other one had more to it. Um, Spooky that she goes. Thank you so much for gifting us up to Pink Crayon. That is very nice of you. Please don't hurt us, DMCA. We beg of you. <laughs> Thank you, Brad. It's not gonna happen. This is so muted. Valve hates when you stream anything of theirs. Bioshock got muted. Wait, Bioshock isn't. Whatever. A fucking Portal got muted. That's it's all that matters. It's time to choose, Mr. Freeman. Thank you, Zephyrox. Shay, thank you for the beats. I'm sorry, Rose. Thank you for the beats. Nothing happens. It's just music and both of them. <laughs> you but. I believed you! What a terrible ending. I like the other one. It might be broken. Is something supposed to happen? Oh, old and flexible. Thank Why you do for we have to wear subs. these ridiculous ties? <laughs> uh, congrats to your rare king. Uh, Lania Kia. Thank 
Sophia, AI, Nine Town Music, Sweet Potato Gym, and The Fallen One. Congrats on your subs. Thank you very much, Old and Flexible. Thank you for the beats, Mr. Jawbones. Um, is something supposed to happen? <laughs> or is that it? Ugh. There is no Nihil Land, there is no G Man, and there is no Queen of England. Who the fuck? I mean, that's true. Some of those are true. Uh, thanks, Factory Love Room. This is it? That's it? <laughs> Queen of Games. It was wild to see this game again, and I felt validated with seeing your responses to so much of this. Thank you for streaming it. <laughs> Thank Carcle you very Heart. much, Austin. Thank you. Half-Life 2 is supposed to start. You just have to play Half-Life 2. Okay. <laughs> Shit. All right, well, um, cool, I guess <laughs> we did it. Um, the game is a job interview. Uh, I, I'm assuming the suit guy is the guy that we saw throughout, like, most of the game. He would be in a lot of rooms, like, in the distance, just being like, ha, 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 no one's attacking me. And I'd be like, hey, that's not fair. So that was interesting. Hardest promotion ever. Yeah, but I had a job. Thank you. I was a scientist who was far too strong and hugged, hugged things that I wasn't supposed to hug. <laughs> Good job with Zen. You cruised through that. It can be challenging the first time. The... I did get stuck. I super got stuck when we got to the alien world and I didn't realize there was like a... I needed to have my light on and stand up inside of a tunnel. Um, so that I got stuck on that for a while yesterday, but other than that, and I think we got stuck in that area with the fluid pumps for a little bit too, but those were really the only times I got stuck in the game. It was really fun. I liked the guns. Um, I wish I could have been able to shoot the alien guns more. I wish there'd be more energy. Um, but the guns were great. I loved that the revolver was like the strongest gun because I really enjoy, uh, good Amy guns. Um, surprised there was no sniper, but I guess that doesn't quite make sense. Um, but yeah, I, uh, I really, 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 really liked this game. Uh, it was <laughs> satisfying to play. Uh, it was very, very scary in the beginning, and it definitely felt like it should have been. It was about on par for eternal darkness for for spookiness i think especially because there were multiple situations where it was like Haha, you're gonna watch a guy get eaten and spit out onto you <laughs> crossbow the crossbow was so inaccurate though i don't know maybe you had to be aiming for it to be more accurate i feel like when i was underwater it usually was just like Pum -pum. went the wrong way i love seeing their atypical approach to storytelling of leaving the player in control and making very heavy use of environmental details yeah the only the only thing that i didn't um the only thing that i really didn't like was that a lot of the time i would walk up to someone and he would either like suddenly stop saying the audio he was supposed to say or like something else would happen and I couldn't hear him or I'd it wouldn't sound like he was about to talk and I'd click on him and then he would start as I was clicking and interrupt his audio. <laughs> I wish there was a way to get guys to repeat their, their audio. I also wish there were like subtitles, but whatever, like fucking no games had subtitles for a while. Excuse me. Glad you enjoyed it in spite of the ending. The ending was funny. <laughs> I get to either like get murdered or sell my soul to like some douchey murdery company that was interesting i liked that a lot i didn't mind any of it yeah the only thing that frustrated me was not being able to hear dialogue that i wanted to hear i wish there were subtitles because then i wouldn't mind as much um but yeah I've, if if all of the storytelling is going to be based off of the things that i choose to do like which way am i looking oh i saw something over there or um who i save and who i talk to then i want it to be like really really robust so i can fucking hear what they're supposed to say that's what i want oh thank you guys for the hype train i don't consider it selling your soul when you're coerced i'll die for not killing aliens 
You saw that first level, they weren't mean. Uh, Pete Slurper, thank you for following. Welcome. <laughs> the entire game is a metaphor for capitalism or something. Hmm. Honestly, enjoyed a lot of Zen. I think the extremely confusing first room set a poor precedent. Yeah, that first area is very confusing, but at the same time, it gives you a lot of time to take in the world that you're in, which I kind of liked. Um, yeah. Please play Half-Life 2 at some point. I probably will. I don't see why not. Is G- is G-Man the suit guy that just killed and or hired me? I want to make sure that- yes, okay. What is G- I don't want to know. Don't tell me. <laughs> I'm glad you didn't shoot the factory workers. They're a detail I really like that changes how Zen is interpreted. I mean- they didn't attack- I only ever attack things that attacked me first. I do that in most games. Flood games are not- Flood games. Yes, the flood games are not open yet. But they will be. G-Man is named after Rain's current Discord name- Wait, what? His name is just Rain in there right now. Did I miss something? <laughs> I don't look at people's names very often. <laughs> I noticed this is Aria Rose changed their stuff. That was funny. I think Broken Quest, you changed yours too. I saw that this morning when we were moving. Hydro Thunder is the best flood game. Wait a minute. Hydro Thunder is the arcade game, right? I played that a ton as a kid at the, um... There wasn't an arcade. I used to go to a bowling alley that with my dad, and they had Hydro Thunder. It was so fucking good. We had a lock in there once, and my friend and I played it all night. It was at your pizza place? Yes! Yes, that game was incredible. There's a level where you go into like ancient Egypt and it's like spooky and you go through like pyramids and shit. I don't know. I really like that game. Yeah, Hydro Thunder is a kick-ass arcade game if you've never seen it. Um, I saw someone streaming it the other- or maybe- I think it was like approved for GDQ maybe? I'm not sure. You had Hydro Thunder at your workplace? You used to play it at lunch? <laughs> That's incredible! I gotta- oh. There are like a couple- if we could get some arcade machines, I would want the Lord of the Rings pinball machine. I would want the shitty alien one where you stop an alien invasion and they try to steal cows and stuff because that was the one we had at our pizza place and I used to play with my dad. I'd have the Frogger down, like, because the Frogger machine is what's at our other pizza place, the one that's like a table. And then I would have Hydro Thunder. And if I had a bunch of room, I would have the Pod Racer one that we had at David Buster's when I was in high school. I'm glad you got a lot of Valve for this game. <laughs> that's, so juicy. that's terrible, though. There was an arcade game like Hydro Thunder, but it was on snow bikes and they blasted AC vents at you. What? That's cool! I've never heard of that. Oh, Bren! Thank you for, I guess, awarding a pun, but seriously, thank you for gifting us up to Thin Cities. You've seen it because we had it at our local pizza place till it closed. Dude, I used to go to this pizza place that was in the middle of nowhere and... They had this, that pinball machine, the one with the aliens, Invasion, and my dad and I would play it all the time. And I wouldn't get pizza, I would get chili in a bread bowl. It was so good. <laughs> it was so good. Ugh. Yeah, the Lord of the Rings pinball game is really, really good. It has voice lines, um, you have specific things to do. It's the... The one that I played was the one that was just Fellowship. Um, but you had to like collect all this stuff and they were like it was like a ring and you had to get all the people. It was really, really fun. <laughs> Every time I go to ground control in Portland, it's fucking broken. Makes me mad. Or breaks while I'm playing it. Uh, yeah, there's an ancient uh, ancient Egypt level in Hydro Thunder. It's fucking good. The other pinball game I really like to play is, there's a couple Star Wars games, um, but I'm not very good at them. I can usually get pretty far, but 
I think there's something weird about Heather too. Anyway, I really fucking love this game. It kicked ass. Uh, I had a really good time. It was... I cannot express to you the feeling I get when I get guns in a game and I don't have to think, ugh, all right, how can I avoid using this as long as possible? <laughs> like, going from playing Silent Hill and Resident Evil into a game that actually wants me to shoot my guns and isn't going to punish me for doing it was, like, the most satisfying feeling. I actually got to enjoy the game. Um... What are the names of the little face huggers in this, by the way? Because I know they have a name. Headcrab. Headcrabs? Ew, really? I must have heard they're not lice. I feel like I must have heard that back in the day, but I can't remember. Half Life 1 had such created weapon design, too. I like the. I liked the alien weapons. I just wish. I wish it was a little more ammo. Like, I wish they held more. I understand why they can't be very broken, but come on. They have plushies for sale of the head crabs. That's kind of cool. I think before I got one of those, I would want a face hugger, though. I really like Alien. Speaking of, it's a movie night, and if you haven't checked out the movie night channel, there's some pretty fucking good movies that I tried to loosely theme on this game, so please vote. Um, one of them is Alien with an S because this is very action-y. <laughs> We've already watched the original Alien. You have the head crab plush? Ugh. I appreciate that you tried to crowbar the last spot. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Maybe someday when you guys do, if anyone ever unlocks a replay poll, we could play that Black Mesa one. Everyone wouldn't stop whining about um, me doing it for the first time. But as always, I much prefer to play like the original version first because how will I appreciate the fancy version that you all appreciate if I didn't play the original? So I, I, I would totally see myself playing this again. I do almost wish that it had the complexity that System Shock had with making a build, but at the same time, I probably would have gone full melee and not appreciated all the cool guns, um, because I didn't know what kind of game it was, so hmm. I'm really, I'm really pleased with it. I thought it was fun, I thought the story was cool. I think the ending twist is really neat, like shooting you into a planet and they may or may not hate you, and then there's like a, a, a fucking suit man who's like, you work for me now, bitch. Also, it's funny that I'm wearing like the traditional scientist glasses. I like that on my character. Though we never really see ourselves. Hmm. There's the expansion to this game before Half-Life 2 or the remake. There is. Theatrical or special edition of Aliens. Whatever is on... Um... Amazon Prime now is <laughs> whatever version we'll be watching. Um, it used to be on HBO and it's not on it anymore. Hulu is like snatching up every movie from everywhere that I want to watch. And they're like, and you have to pay $60 a month to watch your movies, you stupid little idiot. So I fucking canceled my Hulu and I was like, eat shit. <laughs> Stop trying to make me pay for quote-unquote live TV when I want to watch SNL the next day. What a jerk. Ugh. Yeah, all, HBO was great. Hulu, so Hulu you can get for like $14 a month, but then you don't get anything. You get like really shitty reality shows. If you want to watch anything that's currently on TV, you have to buy this, ex this extra pack called like live TV. But if you want movies, you have to hook it up with some other stuff. And they try to get you to, like, bundle it with ESPN and pay, like, a million billion dollars. It's bullshit. So I'm mad at them right now. I go went back to Netflix. But Netflix doesn't have any good movies either. Oh, well. Anyway. Um, yeah. I really like this game. I think it was kick-ass. I have one, in a, one page and a back of notes, so whatever. Um, yeah, I guess here's how we're going to do floodgates. And if you, have, if you haven't been here for this before, um, basically, because I don't accept any hints or fun facts or help, 
um, at the end of the game, I'll be like, hey, do you, what, what did you stop yourself from saying? However, um, I don't want to know about any of the other games. Um, I'm probably going to play the other ones, whatever they are. Um, so please, please, please do not spoil later entries in this series. Um, I know there's something called, there's like the orange box, which has the episodes two. It's me very loud to stop into my deck. Um, and then I know there's Half-Life Alex, but I don't know anything about them. So please do not talk about them. Okay. Floodgate's open. What did I miss? What did I do wrong? Blah, blah, blah. Fun facts. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Hulu sucks. Yeah. My partner also watched your playthroughs as well and brought him all sorts of childhood memories and wants to watch me give Half-Life a shot. Blue Star, that's wonderful. I hope you have fun. I hope you do it. Orange Box has Half-Life 2 plus Half-Life 2 Episode 1 and 2, which take place after. Oh, that's interesting. G-Man is just general slang for a government man. It's not specific to this game. What the fuck? That's weird. Fun fact. All the lockers in the beginning of the game are one large Easter egg. They're the names of some of the developers or employees at Valve. That means one of them's had the name that we made fun of. I feel bad now. <laughs> Whoops. Only, yeah, only seven ladder deaths, you know? I think we had way more in Deus Ex. It wasn't bad. The ladder in this, it wasn't as easy to like slip off the side as it was in Deus Ex, which was really nice. Um, I was expecting the ladder to be much worse considering I think this game's older, I'm not sure. I know it doesn't feel like it, but Half-Life 1 was revolutionary for physics and narrative design. It does feel like it. Like, this game had everything just around you, and you only saw things if you paid attention. You could get no story at all if you just, like, blasted your way through. Fun fact, Zen was originally not planned as the ending of the game. They had planned all the way to Lambda Core, but they were undecided on how to end the game or if there should be an end boss. They procrastinated up until they ran out of time and money and threw Zen together last minute. The original idea of Zen was having Gordon explore a huge alien living organism, but proved to be impossible with current technology. That sounds just like System Shock shit. That's... Hmm. I would never have guessed that. The alien world definitely felt very planned to me, so I think they did a good job. The shotgun's a terrible ranged weapon. When that's all you got, that's all you got. The G-Man is following you and watching you the whole game. If you look around on some levels, you can see him. I saw him a lot. But I didn't know what he was called. You can The G-Man can be spotted watching you and talking to certain NPCs throughout the game as well. Unless my memory fails me, there's an idle animation while you're wielding the snark, the little alien creature you throw. Oh, and, ugh, I don't... <laughs> I didn't like that little creature. I never used it until the end when I actually picked some up. Not sure if you noticed, but your rockets home in on your cursor. Yeah, I did notice that. I mean, hey, that's why you were missing so much. Excuse me. I only missed in the beginning when I first got it. I didn't miss like at all the rest of it, except once where a thing went in front of me and it moved it. There's a story from the development of Half-Life. The tram was extremely hard to make, so two programmers sat on a wooden bench called the Throne of Woe for 48 hours until it was finished. Why would you tell me that? That's upsetting. That can't be true. That has to be just like an exaggerated story. At the beginning of the game, you can ruin a scientist's lunch by using the microwave over and over. I clicked it like twice, but I definitely didn't do that. It was exploded by the time I came back. That dev is watching right now is very disappointed. Whatever, man. Some people have unfortunate names. G-Man's name comes from his model name in the game files. NPC G-Man. Oh. 
Yeah, so I guess government man kind of fits. I would have called him like suit man. <laughs> but that's because he's wearing a suit and everyone else is wearing like lab coats or, I don't know, police uniform. There's nothing I really felt like I had to hold myself back from saying in this game, which is why it was so fun to watch. Half-Life 1 isn't exactly stacked with spoilers. I don't know why, but I thought there was like a... I thought there was like a huge twist in this game. So I kept like expecting a huge twist and it never happened. I don't know. I don't know why I thought that. Every guard is named Barney because the guard's model was named Barney. Oh. Fun fact, after winning Super Mario Bros, you can press B to select the world. Get to it. Thanks, Phoenix. I think the revolver secondary fire is a zoom. I didn't think that one had a secondary fire. Oops. This game had to be scrapped halfway through and then built again from the ground up. The old Gordon Freeman looked like a lumberjack. I don't like that. I like how he looks now. I think this is a good look. It's interesting to have him be a scientist and also a badass because I'm wearing like this horrendous suit. <laughs> It's nice to see someone who didn't hate Zen. It felt like you didn't use secondary fire a lot on guns. I didn't a lot. Because I never felt like I needed to... I needed it. Until I did. <laughs> it only zooms in multiplayer? Oh, interesting. Sometimes I would press secondary fire and nothing would happen, but I think that's because a lot of the time the game would, like, eat my stuff. Hold on. Can I move this so I'm not, like, looking to the side? I can a lot of the time when I would press the shoot button, it wouldn't work the first time. So I'm assuming a lot of the time when I tried to secondary fire, it just wasn't going off. Um, that's at least how it seemed. Sadly, you can never hear what G-Man saying to the other NPCs. That is a bit disappointing. The big green tentacle monster only goes after you if you make noise. You can sneak around it entirely. Okay, I did kind of figure that out in the end, but it took me quite a while. <laughs> Half-Life Opposing Forces and Blue Shift are two expansions. Nothing about them, but they are very enjoyable. Opposing Forces is far better than the main game? Interesting. I didn't know there was, like, expansions or DLC. Someone mentions that I think if you throw a grenade, the tentacles go for the noise of the grenade and ignore you. Oh, interesting. What's the best in... I can't answer that. That's not a real question. <laughs> the original design for Gordon Freeman, which was scrapped and remade, had an appearance that earned him the nickname Ivan the Space Biker. A Google image search is worth it. <gasps> um, this is what Google showed me. Oh, I can't do it this way. Never mind. I'm not showing it to you. It's hideous. Ugh. The pole is looming over us. It won't be dragging on much longer. So now is not the time to curb your desire to vote. God damn it. Thank you very much, Fractal. Yes, yes. Make sure you vote in the poll. The intro for Half-Life, the tram ride in, had two overall purposes. One was that it was a huge departure from tradition and first-person shooters at the time, which was usually which usually had an action movie explosion intro. And two, to show off the engine with all the physics and lighting and shadow effects of the new engine. I have to say, it was very impressive. The intro was immediately very immersive. It, it helps that the, the voice explaining things as we went in was incredibly realistic and like very quick and monotonous, so. Did you see the Half-Life Photoshop I did? Yes. Tell me about Loom. Wait, where's my button? We should all have a button that says, tell me, let me, ask me about Loom. Multiplayer was a huge component of Half-Life 1. It was a mainstay of the first LAN party you ever attended. 
Half-Life was the game that taught me how to play FPSs with a keyboard and mouse as opposed to controllers. Interesting. The secondary fire in the high-tech laser weapon can be used held to charge a bigger shot. That's how you can overload it to blow it up. I was very afraid of doing anything wrong with any of those secondary fire laser, like the laser weapons. I didn't want to fuck up because I didn't want to die. Half-Life on PS2 has a co-op campaign called Decay where you play as two ladies. What? That sounds cool. I think the twist you were looking for was going to an alien planet, which I didn't expect when I first played it. I mean, when they said a dimensional rift opened and I went to the alien planet at the very beginning of the game, it felt like, well, obviously I have to go back. So that didn't feel like a twist to me. Kind of wish Ivan the space biker was the main character. I do not like looking at him. <sighs> It's implied that the human-sized aliens are fighting humans against their will, which is why in the alien factory level they don't attack you. And if you attack them, they run away in fear. I did not attack any of them. Hey, Yuri, you're pouring floodgates. Broken quest, thank you for gifting us up to Samurai 40k. There was a Half-Life mod called Sven Co-op, which allowed you to play 16-player co-op Half-Life 1. It was insanity. Holy shit. Yeah, I beat it, Samurai. Fun fact, the flying beings that shoot fireballs at you in Zen are called controllers. They're controlling the aliens that shoot lightning at you from whom are... Who are called Vortigaunts? Killing the controllers will often end their control of the Vortigaunts and they'll become passive. Whoa! You played Doom before Half-Life, so in your opinion, it set the expectation that the last portion would be fighting the enemies on their home turf. I haven't played Doom, but yeah, I, I thought it was very... I thought no matter what, I was going to go to the alien planet. I just didn't know what I was going to do there. I don't know if it was... I thought we were going to find out that, like, we were the enemies. I mean, we were. Everybody was the enemy. <laughs> Since you played Portal, a fun thing you might remember is the reference to Black Mesa being Aperture Science's competition science things. Yes, I do remember that. The peaceful alien workers in the factory were, to my knowledge, the only ones not wearing shackles. Those poor friendos had been enslaved or conscripted. Well, the ones in the factory I got pretty close to, and they did... I don't know about shackles. I didn't look closely at the other ones. They had, like, green... It might have been their bodies, though. They had, like, green stuff around their necks. Hmm. Yeah. This blanket's leaving fur all over me. Yeah, I really like the game. I thought... I thought it was fun. Green shackles and armor, huh? Oh yeah, they are. The ones in the factory had those too, though. I saw them. Man, that's so sad. They're called alien slaves. That's depressing. Oh my god, those little buggies are called snarks. What are the weird little- Oh, it's a baby head crab! I was wondering what those weird little flat white ones were. The one that that big thing was pooping on me with. <laughs> that's funny. Oh, you're welcome, club. Perhaps one day you'll pick up Black Mesa and enjoy it as well. I already said that I probably would. Little bugs that killed you on the ladder are called squ squirks? I think it said they were... Oh, I've already lost. Closed it. They're very fun in deathmatch multiplayer. Immersion was a focal point during development, which led to decisions like having no cutscenes, a silent protagonist moving the story along through events, like meeting people. Yeah, I like that a lot. I still think that... um. I wish it was less buggy in that, like, sometimes people's dialogue triggers just wouldn't happen when I walked toward them, or, like, a big sound would scare them and they'd stop saying stuff. But other than that, it was quite good. Yeah. And we only had a couple crashes. The only, the only part of the game that I think I actively disliked doing was the part with the helicopter, mostly because the game kept fucking crashing. <laughs> 
and then the helicopter just like left and I was fine with that. We played a deathmatch with snarks and crowbars, the only weapons. It was silly and fun. That does sound fun. Half-Life 2 is not going to be on the next poll. Don't get your hopes up. It's Gordon that tries to pet it, and then it tries to bite his finger. Blech. I'm not a fan of the little... I, the head curls are fine, I guess. But mostly because they made me think of face huggers, which I don't mind very much. I've only been here a few minutes, so sorry if someone said it already, but a Sega Dreamcast version of this game was made but cancelled at the last minute. It was reviewed in magazines, and the strategy guide was printed. Whoa! That's crazy. The helicopter just wanted something to crash with it. <laughs> it gave me a rocket launcher, and then the helicopter just went away, so that was confusing. After getting the rocket launcher, you were supposed to shoot the helicopter down. A cathartic exercise you missed out on since it despawned. Oh, it's not just... Oh. Yeah, I figured I was supposed to shoot it. I even said it when I picked it up, and then it just didn't come back. The Dreamcast version is complete and playable. You got this to work on your Dreamcast, but it's clunky. <laughs> Did you ever use a secondary firing mode on any of the weapons? I used it on a bunch of things. I just most of the time didn't like it. Unless you count the... Well, the shotgun one I used a lot. And uh, I liked the grenade. But I ran out of them really quickly. So I tried to save most of that stuff for... For, um... Emergencies. Because it's a lot easier to shoot that than switch to a grenade and throw a grenade. How do you set it up? This is just the Steam version. Steam version, I didn't change anything about it. Except the FOV. I changed the FOV because it was horrendously close and it made me nauseous. But when I switched it out, it was fine. So Half-Life modding was your very first baby game dev experience. You learned just enough C++ to be dangerous, but not enough to be good. <laughs> And you joined a few mod project teams. Aw, Yuri. Fun fact, on the lower difficulty settings, you can kill the helicopter early by using the Tau Cannon. That's the laser gun you got in Questionable Ethics, if you dump all your ammo into it. Is that the one? That's the one that's like an orange beam, right? I didn't have full ammo, but I did try to shoot down one of them earlier. I wonder if some of them are killable and some of them aren't. I know you said there's no sniper, but the secondary crossbow fires you covered. Yeah, you guys say that, but it's still a crossbow and has terrible aim. I liked how Half-Life 1 bucked the FPS per tradition by only giving you an infinite ammo gun later in the game. So it could be used reasonably... Uh, oh yeah, the bee gun. I wasn't sure if that was just regenerating or if it was because I was in the alien world when I was trying to use it most. Or that other bees were being attacked. Like, I thought that I was, like, absorbing them from other things for some reason. Hmm. Yeah. You guys seem to assume that I didn't know anything about any of my guns, which is kind of mean. Just because I didn't use the things that you did doesn't mean I did not use my guns. Jeez. Peeping at this poll. I think in Questionable Ethics it's implied that Black Mesa got portals working and were experimenting on aliens in the lab. Oh yeah, they absolutely were. They had a bunch of them in cages. There's no way they had enough time between the, the like dimension breach and what was going on to have like created all of that. I think they had little bits of whatever that um, orange crystal was at the beginning that I think was the ones I was shooting at the very end boss fight. Um, and they were like opening little rifts and like stealing things but they had hucked a lot of people into those portals before i was the one who fucked it up using shotguns at long range still uh hello shotguns are fine at long range it just depends on what your video game decides to do with the shotgun clearly people need to shoot real guns G-Man gave Black Mesa the crystal you used that caused everything. Oh, really? It was him? I mean, they had done that stuff before, though. There were too many people inside of Zen, and there were too many aliens that we had specific knowledge of, and too many portals that they were experimenting on very explicitly for that to have been the first time anything had ever happened. 
yeah, it's not my fault that video games don't know how shotguns work. <laughs> it's all of your fault that you don't know. I laughed so hard when you absolutely launched the crystal thing at the start of the game into the machine to kick off the reaction. That wasn't my fault either. There's something weird. <laughs> it's because this game is meant to have like, like low settings and my computer, it wasn't made in 1998, so. Anyway. Ooh, I hate this sound. This is the worst sound in the game, the menu clicking. <laughs> I like how they needed a way to explain having HEV batteries and ammo for your guns and zens. They just put dead HEV suited people in there. Whatever. I'm fine with it. They obviously were shoving people in portals for a long time, and it just happened to be my day. He doesn't talk, but if he did, he would have been like, yeet, Crystal. God, you guys are so young. The slang we use. G-Man sets up a lot of things. Nothing is known about it, however. I refuse to view G-Man as a human. He's obviously an alien. I think he might just be a corrupt person. A human. You're almost 40, but thanks. I meant in spirit. You guys use whatever slang is popular on the internet and it just feels so young to me. Then again, I didn't use common stuff like that when I was young either. Talking with people, I was wrong and apparently the box eating is original. Appa oh, apparently I quick resorted to walk mode to avoid eating it, which is why I didn't. God, you guys keep using the word yeet. Just say throw. <laughs> What's happening? Oh my God, look at you babies. If you're not saying Pog and Monka W in everyday speech, are you living? Oh my fucking god. This is why. Ugh. What happened to all of you? Damn it. Shut up. <laughs> I normally wouldn't use yeet, but the ridiculous over the top way it behaved seemed appropriate. Well, it's good to know that that wasn't my fault. If that's scripted, then I feel a lot better. Alright, we have to end this because you're all being ridiculous. Uh, hey, thank you for watching my first uh, playthrough of Half-Life. I really liked it, and I'm really glad that I played it. Um, so, obviously, it's only been two hours, and we have a lot of day left. So, um, hi, would you like to have a very direct say in what I'm about to play? <laughs> um, exclamation mark poll will get you a link. Check it out. Um, please vote. If you have not, I know you only had a couple days to vote in this poll, but, I mean, that's on you. You all knew how long Half-Life was. I didn't. Um, I'm gonna end it in, like, a couple seconds here. So, vote! Vote, vote, vote. You never be beat this game? You got bored in Zen and just stopped? Wow, I can't imagine making it that far and then giving up. I'm sad that you got bored. Thumbs me out. Octavia, what? Octavia, well, we're in between streams. No, she's not in here. Damn it. All right, I'm gonna have to find her. Uh, is my camera even on it? She's somewhere. I'll find her, I'll find her. But also, I have to turn the stream off between doing what I'm doing, so. Um, but I will, I'll come back with her. I'll, I'll try to do that. Do people not like dragons? Do people not like warriors? I don't know. You gotta ask yourselves that. Uh, so here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna close this poll, and then I'm going to end the stream, but it's not really over. I'm doing this because it's way easier for me to not be live while I'm editing the 5,000 things and setting up. Granted, I do have a game set up because I thought it was gonna win. So that shouldn't take too long, but I'm gonna take my lunch break and then I'll be back. But I am gonna turn the stream off so that everything can get reset properly. I'll make my life easier. Um, yeah, last call. Yeah, everyone seems to think that I'm gonna, like, dunk on the alien world. I liked it. None of the game felt, like, ham-fisted to me. Alright, I'm ending the poll. You've been given plenty of warning. Five, four, three, two, done. It is over. For a second I thought I closed the wrong poll. Um, alright. Looks like we're playing... Kirby's Dreamland.
And guess what? I already have a new poll for you. That's right. I got it ready last night, you little fucking goblins, because I have no idea how long this Kirby game is. <laughs> um, so, here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna post the new poll in chat, and then I'm going to turn the stream off. And I'm going to do the 5,000 things I have to do, including eat lunch, and I'll be back. I don't know how long it's gonna take. I might be back at 12.30. It's noon right now, by the way. I might be back in a half hour, I might be back in a little longer. I will do alerts everywhere, so you know. So, thank you all for being here. Uh, if you were only here for Half-Life, before you leave, let me say thank you so much. Uh, it was lovely to have you. If you'd like to stick around for more old games and then a new game, apparently, um, feel free to follow. Uh, oh, thank you. I really like this shirt. <laughs> uh, here's the new polo cam leaving. Goodbye. Fight amongst yourselves. <laughs>